Okay, we back with another voiceover video. Sorry about that. You know, times are hard. So we're going to get right into it. We got the Pore Minimizing Primer by LaCora, however you say it. And, you know, I just, that's what I start off all my makeup routines. Primer helps you stick the makeup on your face good. This is my Pore Minimizer Pore Filler by NYX. And it comes in a stick form. And then you're going to see this really awkward zoom in trying to show you that it's filling up my pores. But some of you may say, your pores are not even large. You don't even need that. Honey, what I see is what I see, and I see large pores. Thank you very much. Anyway, I do that to just mainly my oily parts, my nose, my forehead, and my cheeks. Um, my pores are filled on my chin with acne, so that is taken care of there. Next, we're going to go in with my brow gel ta by tattoo studio by maybelline new york and i just get the it comes in a stick on a stick um and i get the brown brown color and i just get my eyebrow pencil or eyebrow whatever brush and i get it off of the stick itself and i do my eyebrows now i don't do my eyebrows in the typical format of just completely changing the shape and getting rid of the hairs and stuff um, I just need to darken them because if I don't darken them when I'm beating my face, it looks really like incomplete, like my face is not complete. And um, just coloring them in makes it look really good. Um, no, I don't want to microblade them because I just like it when I have makeup on. But when I'm in my natural face, it's, it's what I want, my natural face. So I'm going to do the other eyebrow and there, boom, you have it. They are never symmetrical and that is what it is, okay? That is what it is. Now I have this no brands concealer that I'm pretty sure I got from 7-Eleven six years ago. And I got it in my skin tone because sometimes I would conceal too much with the lighter ones and it would look crazy. So as you just saw there, um, I just go under the brow with the skin tone concealer and I clean it up. And then I get this big brush this is a new thing I don't usually use this brush but it just seemed faster it's an angled brush and I just blend it down onto my eyelid to get it ready for eyeshadow if I'm going to wear eyeshadow at that time whatever now we have the artistry palish palette by she glam which is from sheen for those who don't know very pigmented palette i'm gonna just do a very simple eye today because literally priming my eyes and stuff is just a lot of work and that's what takes up most of makeup is doing eyeshadow like that is the majority of your time doing your makeup it's freaking eyeshadow um so we're just gonna do like a half lid today with no primer and it's just a shimmer look to clean up all of that debris off my face you're gonna get your facial wipes these are the worst smelling facial wipes I've ever smelled in my life like I will never buy this again it was from Dollar Tree and that's the only place I'm ever gonna get my wipes so I'm gonna complain but I am gonna go back and get them so whatever um, this is the lash I'm using this is not Ardell lashes I just put random lashes in this pack I think I got this from Sheen as well they're wispy though I know that much that's the only lash I wear so this is Radiant Cream Concealer by Neutrogena for healthy skin. It has antioxidants and peptides in there. And um, I do not do the triangle method with concealing and when I'm contouring my face because for, for long faces, it does not look good. It just makes your face look even longer than it already is. So if you have a long face, keep it really close to your under eye. Do not spread it. I don't do my um, forehead usually, but since I have a method of how it, like, how I contour now it looks better because I obviously you can see that I contour before I put foundation on and you're gonna see why it's so much more flawless you don't have to worry about blending if you're not good about at it because that's why I started this method I saw it on YouTube and I was like maybe that's what I need to do is contour first and then put on my foundation now if you have completely full coverage foundation it is harder you may need to go over it again once the foundation is on which I eventually do with for my nose um, because I have a completely, you know, complete coverage of foundation with Il Maquillage. So I just go ahead, um, my contour for, you know, the dark contour is another concealer also by Maybelline. And this was super dark when I had first gotten it. I was like, oh my god, there's no way I can blend this on top of my foundation. I have to find another way. And then I found this method and I'm so glad I did. Thanks to my contour. So this is Il Maquillage, a $45 contour foundation 
I apply it straight to the brush and then I pat it all over to get some even distribution. Distribution. I had just did another voiceover earlier, so sorry if it's really choppy. Um, I'm not doing it over, so this is what you're getting. So as you can see, like, the contour is very subtle, if there at all. Uh, I can see it in certain places, but I think it looks pretty darn good. Um, I do want my nose to be a bit more defined, so I go in with the brush again with the leftover product that's left on there and just outline what I had did underneath the foundation. So you see this flawless application? I'm going to consider it flawless for, for my skill set. Um, that was pretty darn good. So as you can see, I haven't opened this package of powder. Um, it's not just it's not translucent. It is a tint of orange. I mean yellow. That's why it's called banana powder. Now I couldn't get the plastic off the little holes, so I had to dip the brush directly in there. And I learned that the brush was keeping all the product on itself, so I had to go grab a sponge. Um, after this process, I went on Amazon and ordered those triangle puffs that everybody's using, so I'm still waiting for those. I'm excited. Um, so I go ahead and I apply it. I never apply it on my chin like this, so I was doing some new stuff here. And this is me just getting ready to go to church. I never do makeup for church or anything else ever anymore because I just be lazy. Um, the powder is extended down my face more than I would have liked it to be, but it is what it is. You keep it moving. Now this is uh, a Maybelline eyeliner stick, but I use it as lip liner and it's the color brown, obviously. I love me a good browner. Brown liner, I mean. Woo! Brown liner. Uh... And it comes on a lot smoother and a lot more pigmented than if it was a lip liner. So I use eyeliner on my lips. Then we have another Maybelline product in brown. I'm really for the neutral colors. This is their matte brown lipstick. Um, they don't have this color anymore. Like I don't see it anywhere I go anymore. So I like had just discovered the product too. And that was my first time buying it and obviously my last. I've had the lipstick for like two years now, so I don't use it often. So I'm going to be good for the next two years. And I always do this pink and brown combo. I forgot what that lipstick brand was from, but it was a velvet matte lipstick. So then after I wait for the lipstick to mattify, I just clean up the powder, make sure that my concealer is blended out more so under my eyes. And I just found my Lash Accelerator Mascara a couple of days ago, which I bought like years ago. So I'm starting to use that more. This was a gift. I don't buy Morphe spray because it's expensive, but I'm a sacrifice for when it's time. So this is a method I learned in my acting classes. Um, get the setting spray and then get the powder brush you used and pat in the setting spray into your face for a more completed, unmovable makeup look. It will last a lot longer, especially for you oily girls like me. Bro, this was like life changing. Like I didn't look like I was sweating at the gym at the end of the day. It just had some shine spots that I, you could clean up really easily. So I'm going in with the highlighter. This is the only highlighter I had. Um, so after this, I also went to Ulta and bought a darker highlighter, like a goldish type of highlighter because light highlighters just don't look good on me. I don't like it. And that's when I start to think the look looks cheapened. So yeah. So this is, um, the lifter gloss from, I can't remember. I think this is also Maybelline. Yeah. The lifter gloss from Maybelline. And this is like an $18 gloss. So um, I won't be buying it again, but it is some pretty gloss. Like, I have four of them. Um, three of them, I think, or four of them were gifts. And this is the finished look, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for my voiceovers, but not really. Have a great day, and please subscribe and check out our playlist to see what we have next. We, meaning me. Thank you.